So I was never a kid that like, you know, knew at the age of six that I wanted to be a doctor. I always just kind of figured that I'd do something and as long as I was enjoying it, that was great. But yeah, it was like a few months into doing this that was, it's like, oh, maybe, maybe this is it. Before I totally knew what Humboldt House was going to be, I knew really soon I had to do something for myself. And I had been working in restaurants, but I had little investment in, in what I was doing. And I just was so craving a job that would, in a good way, kind of consume me and something that I could just like pour my heart into and know that the more I put into it, the more I would get out of it and the more that my community would get out of it um, and hopefully something that, a need that my customers were, were really wanting. I think more so than like even collecting vintage, I've always enjoyed kind of creating spaces, rearranging people's furniture and making homes feel really comfortable um, and lived in and beautiful and eclectic. Um, I don't know, I mean, I think that's what makes kind of a house home or people to, it encourages people to just sit down and stay and relax and get to know each other, start conversations, um, build community, all those, all those good things come from a space that you want to be in. I feel really good right now. I live in the neighborhood, I work in the neighborhood, I walk to work with my dog, comes to work every day. Um, I get to go on like really awesome road trips and source a bunch of good um, furniture and shop around and meet, you know, funny little people who sell me weird stuff. But uh, it, seems, it seems like a really good life and that's, that's all I really wanted out of it.